Seattle is spending $1.8 million on all gender bathrooms for the Seattle waterfront. Let's talk about it in our segment, Unbelievable. <laughs> Boop. Now, that is actually not what outrageous me. I prefer all gender bathrooms. Am I wrong for that? I've talked about that on the show. I'm a big fan of just a bathroom for one person. Nicole has pee shyness, so she likes it mm -hmm. because she's not next to some stranger in a stall like, hey, I don't, I can't, can't go unless everything. I write. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I'll get to what bothers me, but this is from the Center Square. Again, Seattle will spend $1.8 million on all gender waterfront bathroom facility. So it's a whole facility. I don't, ca I don't care in regards to it being a non-gender, all gender, whatever it is. What does bother me, however, is the price tag. And we, for some reason, the government cannot build a toilet for <laughs> less than a million bucks. If you're watching the show today and you're like a contractor or you build things, you tell me what you would quote this project on if it was like for your employer. You were building something for the private sector. You tell me how much you could build this for. So this again from Center Square. The city of Seattle will spend $1.8 million to construct an all-gender bathroom facility near the waterfront. The facility will consist of six individual all-gender stalls, including an accessible stall. The breakdown of the $1.8 million bathroom facility sees $300,000 for each all-gender stall. Someone tell me what costs $300,000 per stall. <laughs> one point eight million dollars toilet that that tile better be made of like extinct turtle shell from italy i'm sure something italy. <laughs> it, might, it better be made of like dinosaur fossils or something like that someone go. for the love of god tell me what a private sector project of this nature for six all gender stall bathroom stalls tell me what that would actually cost to build I'm curious too. There's no way, unless I'm totally off base, I have, there is no way it costs that much. I'm not saying, look, I know yeah. that the waterfront is this beautiful thing. We were down there last night um, and, and mm -hmm. managed to make it out alive. It actually, in the market, it wasn't too bad. It was no, it it wasn't pretty bad safe. At all. Yeah. Um, we didn't go to Third Avenue. That's the trick. <laughs> but I get it that you want it to be beautiful. You want everything to be yes. visually pleasing. We're not saying you have to put up some like concrete mold and just have a hole in the ground for people to pee in. We're not saying that, but this is one of the issues with government and why, by the way, everything is over time and over budget. It's because the government does not manage our money in the same way that the private sector manages its money. The private sector builds beautiful things. And you know what? They do it on time and on budget. And that is the issue with our government. And also, you know, they go they give so many contracts to people based on skin color. And what is their contract? It's like called the Wim Wimby Women and minority owned businesses remember, or something like that where it's like i mm -hmm. i don't care and they'll give it and you might only have one woman owned well, business or one bids. minority owned business right that's what you're supposed to do is get right. bids doesn't matter who's giving you the bid who can do it for the best you it's know like, well use of funds brandy says she can build that bathroom for us for five million dollars and she's a woman <laughs> well, so you, let's just do it for her. <laughs> no i could do that i'll figure it out i will figure it out i bet I, you i, I could do you that could. for everything half on a million half YouTube a million these days yeah. half a million i'm assuming there's some you know like plumbing stuff a foot half a mil <laughs> plumbing plumbing stuff. things whatever it is <laughs> i mean right you just put the tube in and it would go right into the water right it's so just the tube <laughs> from the i right, think there's a little it's at the water no, 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 i think it's just your tube and Ugh. just right out to the water i'm pretty sure that's how that works so somebody please tell us because I'm having an absolute meltdown involved, over but. this. Someone tell me why. Oh, I, of course, uh, Mugshot Espresso would know. Minority and women owned business enterprises. Okay. Can I get a contract? What kind of government contract can we apply for? <laughs> so we're... Well, I'm going to look into that. No, I I've said before. Come up with one. So we've got all of my staff mm -hmm. is disabled. <laughs> all of my staff is disabled. Half my staff is black. Differently abled. <laughs> Half my staff, 50% yes. of my staff yes. True. is are is black. Mm -hmm. And then also 50% of my staff are veterans. So 50% of my staff are disabled black veterans. <laughs> I have I should be able to get something for that. Where is my grant? I'm in. I'm Where's in. my Although grant? The bathroom for a million bucks. 
Yeah. Wow. We need to. You know what we could do is just get the contract and then hire the people that know what they're doing and we'd still make something. Yes. Eat your heart out, King Five. How, what percentage of your staff are BIPOC? (laughs) What percentage of your staff, King Five News? Are veterans or disabled individuals? Actually, they've got a pretty differently good percentage. abled. Fifty though, fifty <laughs> percent. Are you sure well, you don't have like a of little? The BIPOC, maybe. Do oh. you at least have like a like a Elizabeth Warren level of Native American in you? I think because I mean I'd be in the money. Great grandpa. Well, on my I think my grandma's dad was We're Native in. American or her <laughs> grandpa. I wonder if Daryl's watching the show today. He's like, am I your the token employee? <laughs> no. You oh, know, Daryl, I hired better. you for your skill, which is how why you should hire someone. And it is better than the five million dollar porta potties. You were just looking that up. Remember yeah. the story about they made these like they were like fancy porta potties. Mm-hmm. They kind of look like the places in a way off track. They kind of look like the places in a um. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where we're going here. <laughs> in a uh, airport. Where you pump, you do breast oh, pumping. Yeah. You know, they kind of look that, like the those. Outside, yeah, that, yeah, a little bit. And they spent yes. like five mil on these things, and, and they then, only had one toilet in them. And homeless people just slept in them. Yep. So then they sold them on eBay for what? Was like it? I think it was a what did I say? A twelve thousand. Like twelve thousand each. Yeah. $12, which is probably about what they should have cost. But you know anyway. what? You know they're getting better, I guess, because I think we're getting six stalls out of this one. So six, that's yeah. So three hundred thousand. But they have to have uh, for the hours that it's open they have to have security so there's also that cost involved so yeah it's going to be an, an expensive potty it's going to be spendy hey the waterfront's shaping up beautifully though so as long as we can get all of our you know what it together really then it will be i think fairly enjoyable mm-hmm.